Hello guys, and welcome back to another CAFCAST! Today we are back in the wonderful world of TerraTech and look at this amazing, amazing vehicle. This is from UTQ1 and it is called the Copter. Uh, or Copter 2, I think this might be that we're looking at here. Uh, it's just a Copter design, and it's actually really, really cool. Um, has the ability, which I always like to see, to turn on a dime, which is always nice. But it has a good amount of speed, because the wheels that it's on are not too slow. It has a little bit of jetpack fuel that it requires to get going here. And it also, obviously, is a Copter, because you can see by the, uh, the state of the... Uh, the actual four propellers on the top of the vehicle rather than on the side but it's good it has no stabilization which means that you can go for some really aggressive maneuvers uh, interestingly enough because it is a copter um, if you do go too far uh, then there's going to be problems as you can see there's going to be problems so we're going to just change it up ever so slightly do a couple of tweaks to these these as we always do mess with them a little bit for fun uh, by adding a stabilizer in at the back here uh, in fact, maybe one at the front instead, because this is one of those vehicles that actually wants to... Look at this. Still wants to carry on going. It, it wants more weight at the back, at the front, so it naturally has this kind of, like, forward... So that's really good. We can get rid of the weight of these uh, turbines, because they're actually not needed. They're, they would be needed... It's an interesting design. Quadcopters are interesting in Terratech. The way that it works, uh, as you can see, it has these four, the four blades, and then if you hold down forward nothing's ever going to happen essentially the way they initially take off is the weight of the vehicle but once they're actually up in the air the amazing thing is that when you as you can see here let me just uh, quickly just cancel this out so you can just get a chance to see so we're kind of like floating in midair right we're just floating around and as soon as you gain a certain amount of momentum the the vehicle actually wants to start going forward or backward depending on what it is that your your vehicle is. So currently, as you can see, it's a completely symmetrical design, apart from having two tail fins on the back, which increases the weight ever so slightly on the back. So that's causing it to go naturally backwards. If we take off this stabilizer, I'll show you guys. We go up slightly, and it's just going to go ever so slightly backwards, which means that all it's ever going to do is want to start moving in a backward stance. And as you see, once the, the backward movement starts happening, the uh, actual rot uh, rudders or the, the wings eventually with their flaps take control and then that's the way that it moves. But that's not what we want because we're trying to design a vehicle that goes forwards and not backwards. So we need to have more weight on the front than we do on the back. As you can see, I can take control of the vehicle and make it work a bit better, a bit nicer in terms of uh, design, but purely for the fact that I can like use the backward momentum to re-tilt the vehicle forwards like I just did. But the better idea is to have the vehicle ever so slightly heavier on the front. Now. These tail wing things aren't very heavy, but the gyro stabilizer is heavy, uh, which is uh, makes it easier for us to work with this. And as you can see, eventually the vehicle just sort of catches itself. And it's really interesting the way that it does it, because if we just, again, we just kill our speed completely here. I'm just going to try to completely, if we just go backwards a little bit, and then there we go. So it's going to fall downwards. And then all of a sudden, actually, it's not going to do it there because I made it too, too positioned. But I'll show you again. We're moving up here, and the, the actual drag is happening on these wings as we move up. So we're not actually moving up that fast, as you can see. But as soon as I do any kind of gentle kind of persuasion to the vehicle, like as you can see there, I'm actually pointing the, the wings downwards. But because it's been caught in such a way, it actually catches it and starts moving backwards. But then there's this big forward tilt and it starts going that way, but I think it's because the, the, the stabilizers just kind of like kick in and make it go that way. But that's fine, because now, as you can see, if I just let go of the vehicle, all it's going to do, because it has gyro stabilizer and because it has all this lift, it's just going to float casually and just wander along. And as you can see, I'm going to just leave it sort of like this for you quickly while I have a little cup, a little sip of my tea here. It just wants to just float, just constantly almost it's not losing much altitude at all which for a plane is absolutely fantastic what a great design so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little look here um, and just see if we can tweak the design to give it more lift because uh, currently it's really good it's a really good design it works really really well um, but I kind of feel like it, if we can have some more lift we might be able to get it to be a natural glider and it would be really nice to have a, like a naturally 
just a guy, a, a plane that has so much lift, that has so much just beautiful sort of momentum in that way, that actually we don't need to worry about it at all. So let's give it a go. Let's put some, we're going to put some bits and pieces on the plane here. Uh, so we're going to put some wings on the outside, just there, and then one's there. And then also, we're going to turn this around, have some there, and then finally have one there. Now, as you can see, that's giving us a load of a load of gliding potential. We're going to take these ones off of here, and we're going to add some of the wing parts that are already on the vehicle anyway, uh, and then add, maybe we'll do it with double to give us super duper amount of lift, because this is the center of mass, obviously. Um, the vehicle has two uh, HUDs, as you can see there. Now, this in itself um, will probably not take off because, I mean, it, 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 the, the, the way that Terratech works is you need to have a certain amount of uh, push for it to be able to get going. And that's kind of why a, a little thruster at the back is good because then that means that you can, you can do that and it will work really, really well. Um, as you can see, I have pretty good control because I have all these flaps on either on the sides of my vehicle here now the weight of this now is becoming a little bit more difficult for it to deal with but if we just hold it completely still and try and lift see that's that's really interesting oh i see what i've done lol calf you're an idiot yeah i know that's fine uh, let's just quickly change that put one of these back on there i swear i fixed that there we go now it's perfectly symmetrical once again but i don't think there's going to be enough in the way of thrust coming from these quadcopter parts. So if we take these off and just give us one at the front, let's see what happens. So we are now, rather than relying on the vehicle from a standpoint of uh, of lift, of, of thrust, sorry, we're working on lift. And the lift is just not quite there. So we're coming back to the start again, and we're going to change that by adding a couple of blocks uh, I mean, we can actually, I uh, probably, I'll tell you what, let's do this instead. Let's get rid of these bad boys. No one needs those. <laughs> and put that on there instead. We could probably have this, have three on instead at the front. And now that, that will definitely be enough. As you can see, that is more than enough to get it going. Problem being, currently, it's too heavy on the front now. So, what we do is we switch out this, put this one on the back rather than on the front. We could easily add more tails and things but what we're trying to do is keep that lift nice and nice and hit nice and good so there you can see it just takes off and if we just as soon as the wheels leave the ground so i'll show you that again here because this is a really nice vehicle we've built here these wheels as soon as they leave ground you need to let go of w and hold shift there you go you can do that i think you can also just literally hold shift as well that should work or hold w and shift let's see if that works it might be that you have to do it before you leave the ground Yep, now that works. You can hold W in shift, and then that will carry on the momentum for us here. And then we are off, ladies and gentlemen. We are off. Look at this. What a beautiful thing. This is incredible. We have we have expanded upon this copter and made it into a beautiful, beautiful glider. As you can see, it doesn't have power. It's not strong enough to be able to do massive, massive things. But what it is... You, I don't know if you guys remember seeing in the news, but there was like all those really awesome solar-powered vehicles that were just just had a good chance to have a bit of a wander. This will just go forever if we just increase our altitude, our elevation, just ever so slightly, and just bring it to a point where we are happy with it. We can take off the front propellers, and then just you'll just be able to watch it kind of like go. So let's just get some nice height increasement here. It's looking good. It's pretty happy with itself, actually. It's doing really, really well. So let's just quickly now just see if we're able to take these bad boys off. Uh, there's one here. Off you go. One here. Ugh. Oh, it's hard to grab. Huh. Got it. <laughs> see you later. And now, as you guys can see, because this is so well designed, because this the lift is so nice, if we keep our speed up like this, we're pretty much going to constantly be able to move. Now, if we... Oh, we could... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I didn't mean to take that off. But we can always just take that one off as well. If we just if we just make it so that there's nothing sort of too heavy at the front or the back, then it's just going to... I mean, look at this. It just wants to glide forever, almost. In fact, I tell you what, 
Now that this has been designed really, really well, if we come back to the start, add those bits back on here. Let's just quickly grab them. Here we go. That one goes on that side. This one goes on this side. And then we're going to add just one of these basic thrusters in here. I'm not going to add any um, any additional like power or anything like that. It's going to literally just be this. And we're going to use the wheels to get to a decent speed. And we're going to just thrust up. And oh, it's just not quite, is it? Okay, well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, this is the end of today's video, but I'm going to carry on working on this uh, uh, behind the scenes. And I'll come back to you guys next time with a different video, not a user showcase, but an, an, an adapted video about how to make a glider. I think we can do that, and I think we can do it really, really well. So until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I have been Caf of the CAFcast, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. You've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos. Oh, and be sure to subscribe to us if you like what you see. That way I'll know to make more and that you really like me. So, you've been watching the Gaffcast. We hope you have enjoyed the show. Don't forget to check out all of our other videos.